In this video, I'd like us to talk about Subtitle Edit Avalonia or more or less a major release of Subtitle Edit that is coming that is uh, built on Avalonia UI. So obviously it's Subtitle Edit being rebuilt. Now, uh, this video is more on downloading, using and kind of testing. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because uh, some features are still missing, incomplete or experimental as we actively develop this version. Your feedback is invaluable in shaping the future of subtitle edit. Now, so thank you for testing and supporting subtitle edit. Uh, this video is kind of to show you uh, what goes where, what you need to do, uh, uh, kind of that thing. So I'll leave the link in the description below. And uh, once you notice an issue, you can raise it here. And currently we have two issues. Uh, will there be a Windows package? This is as of like three weeks ago. Uh, would there be a DMG file in the future and when? So as you can see, I'm a subtitle edit user. I'd like to know if you'll provide both versions for Windows Mac. I plan to buy a new Mac in the coming years and would love to use SE on it too. If you need a user, uh, if you need a Windows tester, I'm willing to report bugs for you. So there'll be a Windows 10 and 11 version and a Mac um, uh, M1, M2, M3, M4 version. Uh, if you need a Windows user, I'm willing to report bugs. Sure do, but not for a while as I'm still working the basic make it work stuff. The main window UI is looking uh, like this at the moment. This is what the UI looks like. And then uh, damn, the UI looks good. Weirdly, it looks better than a subtitle edit. The first preview is up now and you can see what do you think of the layout? What do you think of the features included? Many menu items slash windows are not working fully. So that's okay. Uh, obviously it's something in development. So it looks good, but for settings I'd try to use horizontal tabs, it looks better. Uh, let's see. Sorry, not enough room for horizontal tabs. Downloads are here. Does that work for you? I think uh, could be uh, enough. I think it could be good enough for beta versions. Yes. It doesn't let me download it. This is of 12 hours ago, or I can't figure it out. And, and then the next one, uh, so I'm a Mac M1 user and followed your proceedings of SC for Mac system from last year. Four versions of subtitle edit Avalonia are just for Windows. So I want to ask you, uh, is it po that possible that Mac user to have a DMG file to install? I think so, but probably not for a while since very complex. Also not free. Uh, the basics are up and running. I would say six to 12 months for working light version. So, uh, for working light version. So that's okay. Uh, thanks, by the way, lots of apps on the Apple store are not free. So many people are willing to pay for them. Uh, so I think you can have a try make some profits. Obviously, Nicolaj has been doing this for free. And uh, if you go to the homepage, you can see more or less where you can donate and all that. Now, you can find the latest cross platform builds here. So I'll just click on this builds on GitHub and then click on build subtitle edit multi-platform as of 16 hours ago and you can see build windows build mac if you scroll down there's a section called artifacts produced during runtime and these are the downloads as you can do uh, subtitle edit for linux mac os arm version uh, a subtitle edit mac os subtitle edit windows arm version subtitle edit windows so to download just choose what you're working on i'm on windows and if i click on this one it's going to start downloading or you can actually just click on this button but i'm not going to download it again because i already have it i'm going to close it and take you to the folder it's right here and the files in there look like this uh, but for me to use them more or less uh, it's always important to extract them from the zip file into another folder so i've already created one and just drag and drop them right there and here we have them and we can just open it up and have a look there we go. That is subtitle edit Avalonia. Uh, it's right there. It looks like that. Uh, so obviously there are a couple of things missing from subtitle edit, the normal version that we use on Windows and Linux. Uh, but you can start with the settings. Maybe if you wanted to change the appearance to maybe a whiter one, not a dark theme. Let's go with a light theme. Looks okay. Uh, obviously the reason why I'm doing this video is for to show you how to download and then obviously the testing version of it. So test if uh, you can uh, type in subtitles, 
but obviously if we go back to the settings it's important to always download uh, the MPV player you can download it if it's if it's not installed you can also download FFmpeg uh, if it's not available always make sure because obviously the files the videos uh, the speech to text uh, need uh, FFmpeg and as we can see is the video player there yes it's installed click OK so we can actually even just bring in a video open and we have it right there you can see what it looks like hello and welcome to our channel to and uh, you can actually now try the speech to text so it's good to have this finally for uh, Mac and all that and from here the speech to text version obviously uh, the one thing I've noticed is that uh, it's not pulling up the options to kind of just download this so obviously as for status hopefully it's going to start pulling up all these options so that when you want to kind of use something it brings it up uh, for you to use for example if I actually just download a tiny model for whisper comes to me uh, to try it out uh, you kind of see uh, that issue when I hit on tra transcribe so let's say we say transcribe you'll see that uh, the download and use whisper comes to me so if it's the first time uh, let's say yes it's a small file if it's the first time doing all that and then you'll see it's going to begin the transcription and all that so if it's the first time let's assume speech to text and you choose something like whisper cpp if i click on transcribe it's going to bring that so when i click on this and i already don't have it it should pop up automatically and start uh, doing what it needs to do for me to actually use it right there if you do path view this one is a bigger one uh, it's a bigger installation so uh, all that uh, let's see uh, something else you can see the, the actually the actions are working generate video with banding subtitles so this is what it looks like you can't do a preview hmm doesn't look so bad looks good and then you can just hit batch uh, okay that's the batch mode if you want to do a ton of files uh, but let's just click on generate so obviously uh, as, as you can see for example right here uh, the code uh, this is what he was working work on burning five hours ago so obviously as you can see the burning option is not kind of generating at the moment but simply put that is subtitle editor Valonia first look how to download use and kind of test uh, uh, test to so that you can actually shape the future of subtitle edit uh, if you'd like to donate links in the description github sponsors or even donating uh, via paypal so this one is for github sponsors and this one is uh, to donate uh, via paypal now that's it for this video go try it out and please don't bombard the issues section with issues uh, because it's a work in progress uh, just give it a while uh, you can be testing out and seeing if it's working on Mac, Windows, and Linux uh, by downloading from the section I just walked you through. That's it for this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.